due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. Hey everybody, welcome back to the other side of the Beehive, episode 180. We have Mariah with the 181, sorry. 181. Well, that's what happens when you check over and you're like, you got so many projects going on. When you have so <laughs> many podcast episodes. <laughs> Jesus Christ there, Shab. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Uh, Mariah with the Salty Sex Cast. How you doing? Hey, babe. Uh, you know me. You know me. Wearing open toe shoes. I like that. I did. On purpose. Know, bro, don't, do <laughs> don't do that. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just the air from the fan. <laughs> <laughs> just as a <old>, witch is. <laughs> How you doing? Good. I'm good. By good. the way, you brought a full cooler. I did. Like you're going to battle. I'm planning on battling here. Hell yeah! I got you some oh, half yeah. cocked boozy this? pops. It's like a. So no 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 no! Don't learn how to open a popsicle. I'm rip it up, you, there, you buddy. Tear, you never had an the right here, They right? didn't have those. <laughs> no, we did. But Hold I think on. you can reseal it though if you do it right, can't you? I, that's what I, I plan mean, on doing. But no, just rip it open. Salt, Make the whole thing salty. The dome, sex bro. guys, fucking almost castrated me here. Oh, I didn't shake it. Oh, <laughs> oh all the booze is right <laughs> up at the top. <laughs> that's some tequila and some rum. Have you had one of these? Pineapple juice. Can you get me another one? Pineapple juice. Hey, hey that's gonna be good for something later. Yeah, it's gonna be for something. Here, I got you a halfie. I just don't like tequila. Oh, you like, big weenie. Not it's like not that one, tequila-esque. What is it? This is the salty sex guys, dude. I ain't even salt the rim for, for you. The roofing us right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just buy these on Amazon and uh -huh. make it, put it in the freezer? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put our logo here? Get arrested for fucking bartering alcohol to minors. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> my kids get addicted to these. <laughs> yeah, I did have to put them in a different freezer at my house. And I was like, these are mommy's. These are mommy's popsicles. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The bottom? Oh, my God. Get that beer. Mm. Get You're beer. welcome. Those are pretty good. Oh, yeah. Good job. That's Not pretty bad. good. Good job. It's pretty awesome. Yo, guess what happened to me at work today? <laughs> Actually, yesterday. Somebody came up to me and he goes, oh, yeah, well, how old are you? 24? 23? 24? I'm like, oh, like, I'm 40. He goes, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. And it's the goes, brown oh, skin. Th this fucking guy said, oh, my dad's 45. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> Don't laugh at me like that, though. <laughs> By the way, thanks for the video you sent me on my birthday. Yeah, you're welcome. She only wanted to call me old, but whatever. Absolutely. It, she actually sent two takes. I, did I ever show you the first take? No. She sent me two videos. Ooh, and she's I had like, a couple pick, different jokes for you. Pick yeah. the one you want, and that was the one I picked. Was it one of those pictures, like the one I got at Seuss? <laughs> no. <laughs> what picture was that? Huh? What picture I was that? I should have bounced 40 times. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, yeah, that's Missed right. opportunity. Hey, can we go to the Salt of Sex Guys Reels, please? Yeah. Have you seen <laughs> this? You're going to appreciate this. Uh, Instagram? I yeah. If I have. Do I think I might have. I appreciate this. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, That's okay. We'll lube you up later. Hey. Hey, how was... Uh, I went to your celebration for the 100 episode. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty awesome party. You were there, right? Yeah. Awesome party. Yeah. Awesome place. Full of dicks, by the way. Yeah, we had Everywhere. a bunch of concrete dicks. Did you know where that co concrete came from? Uh, well, we don't say company names here, but I'm guessing where... It's not works. a company. Where it was a project, yes, it's from a company, of yeah, course. Yeah. The company has to provide the concrete, yeah, but the yeah. ready mix was going to be delivered to the Salt Lake City Temple. Huh. What a way to shove it to there! And dude. we just took a little, molded some dicks with it. How do you make a mold though? You need a dick. You need a dick to mold from. One. I was gonna say that's not a problem. I think I, I, I think I have one. The way she you said it, like think you, you have, have one. to have a dick. You can't have <laughs> what you call a dick. What I call uh, a dick. You have to have I a, I a good, dick. I thought I had a good package. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened to that? You know, like the clone of Willie. Mm -hmm. You've seen those kits. Uh, number three, please. That's exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, By the way, you're killing it with these things. Thank yeah, you. Almost a thousand views. I know. Just a bunch of creeps like you watching. Uh, excuse me, when I... <laughs> Can people see this, B? Yes. 
you know how hard that was? I kept wanting to do like either side. They were like cockeyed. And I was all over the place. So I was like laughing <laughs> <Like> my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this fucking oh, drink got me a little oh. fucked up. Oh. I have a talent. Anyway. I have I have a party trick, and so ah. I was like, you know what? What better way to ha- like my, show off that party trick than put it on the ex, on, my on ex sister in law used to uh, used to be a stripper, and he had like the fakest tits. And so when she would dance, she would put the pole in the middle of her, her boobs, and then she would move one at a time, and she would climb up. That's pretty funny. Oh, wow. Like, oh, yeah. That's that awesome. Wow, that, was pretty, four, that was pretty tits. 4,000 <laughs> views on one of your reels. Jesus. Um, the one that I have with somebody next to me, we're in bed and we're inviting someone else. Yeah. Um, it's like 500,000 uh, views. Yeah. Let's get in bed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's all five. Uh, 20, 21,000. Brian is one of them. 211,000. So are me and you. 211. 211,000 views. There's a, there's one that's, that's higher. I think it's maybe the one that I'm holding the pl- butt plug. Oh, yeah. By the way, that drawer. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I showed him. Looks like fucking. I should have brought you a toy. It's like what Tuila has the Army Depot in the bunkers. <laughs> you, fucking you, artillery. Can put, fucking. Can you just put the other side of the beehive on one of your rails? And yeah, just. Yeah. yeah. She sent me the thing to make him, but here's the thing your boy don't read. Can't so read. so can't when read. I. Well, I, I can't. Yeah, can't right. So when I opened the thing and it's like, oh no, you sent me a video. And it was like. Oh, sorry, sorry, second. sorry. And it was like 30 minutes long. I'm like. This is, this is not going to happen. It was a how-to video. You didn't even have to read. You just had to sit and watch. That's what I'm saying. But like it was what too you're long. asking but it was your too audience long. to do right now. But it was too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is comedy, though. You're, they're not learning anything. <laughs> they're just laughing. Oh, they didn't want to hear all of the stats I was going to rattle off and all uh, the sex education we were going to yeah, talk well, about. Yeah, educate us. That's what you're here. No. You're the professor. You still you still at the school? Yeah. I'm still on the payroll. Is any fucking... Any of these girl, any of this girl, any of these kids have a crush on you or anything? Um, You've gotten you. You must have gotten a, a guy who's like, "Hey," or a so. Kid. There's there's a thing called rape my professor. Has anyone ever? I'm glad you said rape. Wait, I did the same when, thing. When was that? When I was going to school. <laughs> when you're walking down the hallway and you stumble, that's exactly what just happened. Wait, what? <laughs> So you can look up the class that you're taking at the university that you're at and look up the instructor and it'll tell you like, oh, so-and-so has like hard grade tests or whatever. But there's all also these little chili peppers that you can rate how hot the professor is. I was like, that's weird. Oh, this is legal now? It's, it's there. It's there. Okay. I'm an online professor though. So I'm like, have fun. Unless they know me in like real life or watch. Well, so you don't go to a classroom then? Mm-mm. Oh. Not anymore, or you never did? Never did. I was never on campus. Oh. Yeah. So I'm not touching I you, anybody. I Don't you worry had, about like, it. the most students just because they want to see you, just want to hang out with you instead of just, I mean, I do have online, online videos. Like, I have videos that I record. No, yeah, we've you know, seen them. Giving lectures. Oh, my God. I don't <laughs> send those to students. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they're out there for anyone who wants to Google. So my son, my 13-year-old son. Yeah. Was out of lunch with all, uh, not out of lunch, at lunch in school with all of his friends. And he was, they were talking about their moms and what their parents did and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh yeah, my mom's this fitness instructor. And I was like, well, not really, but thanks. And they were like, well, what does she look like? And he's like, I don't know. I don't have any pictures. So he fucking Googles my name. Yo, and I was like, oh my God. Bad idea. One thing I don't, like, ding, 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 I don't have my last time. I don't have my last name associated with the podcast for a reason. Um, you represent all the gifts sort of across the world. Like, you cool doing a sleepover at your house? <laughs> oh my God. Um, but it's it's my like fitness photo yeah. so i'm in a sports bra and tiny shorts i'm super fit not how i'm looking now let me tell you what like and so um that got around the school and all the kids were were talking about how hot oh well, they know, weren't this one kid's mom <laughs> they were not talking <laughs> i never had a hot do you ever had a hot teacher uh i had a and god bless her um she was uh i wish there was a way to look her up it's she, called Facebook. Uh, no, I, I know you could do that. You can you imagine you blast her all over the place? Everybody was like, oh, Miss Olivia. Oh, white people do that shit. They, they remember 
all the teachers' names. So, but listen, I, I don't listen, remember one. Listen, her, you know, you introduce yourself as yeah, a yeah. teacher. She was a science teacher, but she did the most cliche thing. She was a sex ed teacher as well in high with, school. Did she blind you with science? You know what she was? What? She was a cheerleader to the 90... When did the Cowboys fucking... She was a fucking Dallas Cowboys girl. I can wow. I can imagine what this lady looked like. And all your horny motherfuckers. Like Clearfield that. High. Oof. Dirt bags. What year is this? Dirt bags. Um, I mean, I was... This would have been 96... 95, 96, when I was like 15, 16 years I, old. I don't think I ever had a hot teacher. I had one that was like decent. But it was like maybe them. like the 88, whenever the Dallas Cowboys like in the Niners really ran. Mm -hmm. I should know this, but yeah. she was a fucking cheerleader. I was going to ask you, you're a football girl, right? You're a Saints girl, aren't you? <laughs> um, by marriage. Oh, okay. Oh, you got cloned into that one. Yeah, right? yeah. No, I don't know But you anything. got to go. That was cool, wasn't it? I did. I did. I've been to an NFL you know game. That? It was super fun. Live sports are so much fun Even because of like the energy. Sports, right? Exactly. Yeah. It could be something I care give two shits about. It's that live energy that people are fucking psyched to be there. To see people perform at their peak who really truly have a passion. I was even talking about um, like, you know, two cellos, the two guys that play the cello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they do mm -hmm. like covers of modern music. Yeah. I was talking to a coworker Who's today. We were watching some of their music videos on YouTube and I was like, just it's the passion that people mm -hmm. have. That's so fun. I would totally go and just see someone live who loves to do that. Is that, that that's for laughing at me last week. Just Get hey, a little let's wet. Take, let's take a We're all over gonna here. get a little wet. Let's it's take a okay. moment over here and appreciate Justin's pants. Yeah, he's got these. It's got the bottoms rolled. <laughs> Look at Brian, dude, all disappointed. Hey, I'm both, turning both a new leaf. Go down the street later, right? I'm dude. turning a new leaf. Have fuck yeah, dude. Fuck. I think I look good. I know, dude. I'm but just being sure. I, wa I, I walked out and the wife's like, "Who are you?" Your wife is so. I'm sleeping with a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't have to give it away that he the shops way, in the kid section. <laughs> These are 32s. That's, that's baby gap. Yeah. These are 32s. <laughs> yeah. Now, do they have like Asian tags on them when I got them? Of course they no, did. I, but but I, I think like <laughs> Asians are like forefront of the fashion fashion world right now. Yeah. Ask Shaw. That's what he says. I'm telling you, dude. You're, you're, yeah, my new you, ones didn't show you're up. You're somebody so. else, dude. Look at you. Hey, let's take a moment here and remember how Justin called me a fuckboy when I was into buying shoes. Mm -hmm. Look at him now. I know. I take it back. Yeah. I right? take it back. We're all fuckboys well, We here. can all admit when we're wrong, right? Mm -hmm. These are my new ones. I like them. Nice. I like those. My Air Maps? I like those. Are they comfy? Uh, yeah, yeah. You want to wear them? Yeah, no. <laughs> Do you guys wear the same size? No. 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 But I am buying I have those. little feet. I have little feet. I'm not judging. What size are you? Feet. Feet size? Feet Foot size. Pants. What are they? Seven and a half. But six in and a half. In men's or women's? In women's, but so six and a half like in it. little girls. So I can still go get cheaper, like you Nike tennis shoes that are all cute and floral. You're almost there, right? You, you, eight? <laughs> You're almost there. I, eight and a half and a nine. Yeah. I can drift between the two. The eight and a half, I notice, Sh and Nikes are a little tight. Shout out to Brian. Can't buy shoes because he's 14. Yeah. Yo, every time I look at shoes... I, I, go, I go to buy them, they and are. it's like all of the sizes are gone except for everything above 14. Oh, yeah. That's what's always around. That's well, not his problem. Will <laughs> you call me when you see that? Because no. I need those 14s. <laughs> Brian, he sent me a message yesterday. He goes, hey, oh, what is it yesterday? He said, look what I got. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm like, I tried to go for ones, but I didn't get it. And he goes, yeah, same here. That's why I went and buy them. So I bought them somewhere else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's become a problem. It's become a problem. Yeah? Yeah. How many shares do you have? Shoes? How many pairs? Uh, it's a problem. Quite a bit. So my no, 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 no. How many? Total or just sneakers? Because I just got into sneakers, no, 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 but I've always total. been into shoes. Total. <sighs> give me, give me a ballpark. With Three digits. Of, so I would say no, 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 no. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna tell you this. So my roof is about a little bit taller than Angel in the basement, and he has four rows across. Almost all the way up to the roof <laughs> of shoe boxes to put his shoes in. So, so take like a I picture. I don't want to show them, but I just don't want to look. I like got a those badass drawers. Be the douche. 
Come on. Container store. No. Container store. I th- I have They're dope. Th- I, I mean, you build them. pairs, and he has more than I do. So I know that. So we, we were talking about this at work one day, and I was like, oh, yeah, I probably have like... 50 pairs of shoes yeah. like i know i have a lot of shoes i love shoes and yeah. i love shoes on like all sorts of different occasions styles mm-hmm. everything right i counted and i was a little embarrassed after i counted i'm a hair short of a hundred pairs Holy of shoes shit. shout out to you yeah. bless your heart <laughs> bless your heart She's so, and I'm proud to be american <laughs> yeah. well, that's how i'll be because that's the thing so what happens is I go buy these containers, and there's six in each box, right? And when I get them, then I, I have seven pairs in the next two weeks. And I got to go buy another one. Uh, it's just fucking douchey. It's douchey. I tell you why it's douchey. Yeah, he, he stopped posting them on Instagram because he, well, he couldn't, yeah, keep, I up. Post, he couldn't I, keep up. I couldn't keep up. Truth be told, I stopped posting him on Instagram because of this gentleman right here. Just make an igloo oh. out of the boxes and just like oh, come could, out of them. He could definitely build a fort with as many Yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> I thought about doing like if I ever did a, a, a like if I ever get a place and did like a like a whole like if I do the open on Sundays and have the background be tennis shoes. I told you I, build, like with I would like build this. your shelves. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's, that, cool. he's that TikTok where he where they go <clears throat> I said it wouldn't be an addiction. And then I bought another one <laughs> and another one. And it's kind of starting to Basically. look like an addiction. <laughs> Basically. Right. But yeah, but I, one day I'm pretty sure I'll have that. But do I it. can't do it here because I see I started in Brian's room or the, the room that I have. Right. And I was like, this is I have to expand. I have to. <laughs> so now I'm outside like, of the room like, and I'm running out of room. Yeah. Do you, do you have, have like more, a whole storage, storage unit in that? for. Yeah. Well, you can charge him more rent for that. <laughs> room, right? like, hey, don't you give him ideas, <laughs> dickhead. You can, charge, you can pay more and get the room across. I'll clear it out and you can put your shoes Fuck. back. Anyway, um, so the reason why you're here is because you're trying to put something together. Yeah. Finally, somebody is. We had the idea. We're like, someone's got to do something about this. <laughs> You Tell have the all. passion. Other people have the follow through. Yeah, okay, okay. The drive. See, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. bad. My bad. Has, it's called execution, a, my vision. friends. Yeah. You have the, the drive and the follow through. I, like, oh, I, I, I give the no fucks and I'm just going to get shit done. Yes. So tell us what is it? This is the Pod Community Podcast okay. Awards happening wow. September 30th, which happens to be, does anyone know? <clears throat> uh, uh, the uh, International, International Podcast Day. Podcast Day. Yeah, and only because we talked about it and looked. Yeah, it up. we talked about it last. <laughs> yeah, last yeah, week. exactly. Last, last time we looked it up. That's Good for fine. you. And it's three days after my birthday, just so you oh, all know. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, screwball dude. So it's the really 30th? just a big old per- birthday party <clears throat> for me. The thirtieth. The thirtieth of September. God damn it. What? We'll talk. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk. talk. <laughs> you're so disappointed already. This is months in advance. <laughs> this is months away, and he's already like, "Well, no." He's planning on getting his it. breast augmentation like, during that well, time. Who oh. you having on the podcast? I says, "Oh, Mariah's gonna come." She's like, "Oh, nice." Is what? What's she up to? I says, "Oh, she, you know, she's got this international podcast thing going on." She's like, "Oh, when's she gonna do that?" I says, "International Podcast Day." Yeah. She's like, so she looks it up. She's like, "Boy, well, hope it's not on the thirtieth, because you know." Uh, I have a wedding you're supposed to go to. You do? Oh. A family member. Oh. We'll figure something out. Eh, it's not a close guys. family member. Yeah, Just, not guys. to me, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they, can, they can have their wedding in Hooper, Utah with the Are cows. Are you going to be a best man again? No, not this well, time. Then, I'm just kidding. Well, then yeah. you're, then you're not <laughs> obligated, right? <laughs> well, right. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, for sure. For get sure. There. We'll get there. Let's just figure out if we're going to UFC first. And then we'll figure out if we're going so, to I, I looked at tickets. Yeah. Um, now that tickets are released to public, they've gone down like... They're they're fairly reasonable. Like you wouldn't mind paying two hundred bucks a ticket, right? Uh-uh. That's okay. okay. And those are the cheap ones, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, like floor no, level, listen, we're I, like six grand. <clears throat> Yo, I so I now know would I buy them? Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, but if so, that's your passion again, just so you know, I I know we he talk has about six this. grand in shoes. It's we talk, okay. We talk, <laughs> 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 we talk about yo. At least a G a Is week. It, <laughs> I, I can't remember what. Never mind. I'm just jumping all over the place. Sorry. No, that's me. You're, you're fine. I just can't remember what what app of shoes tells you like all the total that you've that you've spent. I was embarrassed. Yeah. Like looking like, at your lifetime yeah. Amazon spending, and you're just like, like oh, oh god. See, I'm not an Amazon guy. But, that could have oh, been a house. He buys. He buys. He buys resale too. 
If he likes a pair of shoes, he'll buy them at resale. Ooh. I won't buy. I I've only bought a couple pairs of shoes at re- resale. So he'll buy them at resale if he. I really just likes bought them. a pair at resale. And- yeah. Yeah, let's happy. start another podcast with about shoes. Yeah, no, about what shoes. I was saying is, I know that I know that we talk about this and we talk about going to the UFC, and I know it's hard that you, when you buy your, your tickets, you have to buy mine. But as soon as you as soon as you tell me, you I'll give you the money back right. There. I know that. I know that. So <clears throat> I know it's gonna be like a big punch, but it's like I got you. I got you, boo. One right. less pair of shoes, bro. It'll be alright. Yeah, one less pair of shoes. Okay. Well. So September. 30th. I mean, they're they're in the ring barefoot for a reason. Yeah, but this is guys, though. <laughs> so, September 30th. Yeah, September 30th. So it's September a Friday. 30th. Um, it's a Friday, right? You go so to podmunity.com and you can register your podcast to win some awards. I'm telling you, dude. They, someone. This, this <laughs> like we came shit up with an gets idea. done. Yeah. You know what? There was a there was an, uh, small time where I'll I was finish like, her. I should buy podmunity.com and I says, ah, nobody's going to take that, right? How many uh, have you. Have, Look can at you tell. Hold up. She's got a whole website here. Yeah. Can you tell us can you tell us how many people have registered? No. You can't? Nope. Okay. I know I have. Yep. We put I put this podcast. I'm there. just saying, if you and, and it's not just for Utah. Like it can be anywhere. The award show, yes, will be locally in Utah and northern Utah. But anyone who has a podcast, who wants to be a part of the pod community, who just wants to be part of the cool kids club. Yeah. They can join, and so it's it's taken off. Now I do. I, I will say though, I do fall into the douche category. Yeah, <laughs> but also okay, I love you. <laughs> Sorry, I've had a few drinks before a game. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I fucking tell you why you texted me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you, I'm like, hey, because she texted me. She goes, "We're here," and I'm like, "I was driving." I'm like, "Jesus." And she's like, "Oh, it's okay. We're we're talking about what? We're talking about things." <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway so my the problem that i find here is like obviously you want to see your friends you know get into this like all the our, our homies and stuff like that and the yeah, people yeah. that we've been doing this with but also it's a cool idea to be have it open to whoever has a podcast now i fall into and this is this is my personal issue i fall into why will someone have it so easy this is to register your podcast and the the reason the reason being is because a big podcast closed the door on us when we started yeah yeah yeah. and so my first instinct was like well how why do we make it easier for everybody and then on the the other side of me goes well now you're falling into what that douchebag did absolutely Mm. so now i'm like oh now this is to register your podcast come and join have fun we're it's still going to be peer nominated Mm mm-hmm so you still have to be active in the pod community. Yeah. You have to fucking care about your friends that are podcasting. You can't be a fucking douchebag. Yeah. Or you're not going to win. This is the second time you say douchebag and look at me. So <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> this this is open little. for individuals that like podcasts. This is for people that own a podcast. That are podcasting. Correct. Maybe in years after we'll have, you know, it be open to anyone voting but this is peer nominated peer voted this year and this is going to be at the stabbing cabin you guys you know what the categories are um we are seeing how many folks register and then see if we need to make some more but most of it's going to be pretty generic right you know like best female can i get producer of the year awards Oh, you mean because you're the only one? Let's go. (laughs) Anyone want to like try to show up their titty dance right now? Registered? Yeah, I registered. Yeah, I registered. So I can't go on and register because you've already registered our party. Yeah, the show is registered. Yeah, so you just register, and the registration will be open for a little while. I don't know the date quite yet, but it's like roughly a month, Mm -hmm. and then voting will be a few weeks. And you know, then, this is big for anybody that listens to this yeah. podcast that has a podcast. Yeah. You should join this. I mean, yeah. please, please we're gonna, do. We're this isn't boost, like a yeah, competition gotta, to blasting. like knock you down. It's more of just like a boost up of we recognize everybody's efforts. We have a pod unity. We care about you. We want you to come join this fun day. Um, if you can come and be there live. Hell yeah, it's going to be super fun. So it's going to be the same place that we had our 100th episode, the Salty yeah. Sex Cast. Um, which is a property in Hooper, Utah. What is it? Where? Hooper. Hooper. Not Hooper. 
It's there's two O's. Yeah, there's yeah. yeah. Like hooker. Not a uh. Hooper. Hooper? Hey, you're talking you hey, go. you're talking to the girl who can't say poo. Oh, why would you do that? That's so mean. That's for putting, your, I'm, that's for putting your foot in his face. That's what I was just going to say. That is the equivalent of me taking off my shoe and just like rubbing my foot like but, <laughs> right against his leg. But hu- yeah, Hupper. Yeah. Hupper. Then poo. Uh, <laughs> Mariah don't like words with two O's in them. So. No, no, no. Just like that it's like two O's and then it Winnie hangs. The like you're just oh, like, She's like, Winnie the poop. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh's fine, or shampoo is okay, but when like someone just says the three so letter word, so, why? Why? It's such because a stupid word. It's a visual thing. It's a visual no, it's word. You just see that just slow, you know soft serve, like you know, you, like, know what's, you know what's visual? Defecating. <laughs> and that's what. And by the way, that's why I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> You say defecating and I see someone squatting in the woods. No, I I left, I took off, like I left the house and I went to get fuel and right as I was getting fuel, I'm like, oh, I got to go back to the house. Oh, you went back to the house. house. You don't gas station drop it? Oh, God, no. Not if I don't have to. God, no. He had to take a shower right now. I'm like around the corner. Oh, yeah, I can't see. I can't. He's he's clean. I'm all about those dude wipes. Obviously, those are great. When you're out riding. And the little individually the wrapped ones, they're great to just put everywhere, right? Yeah, absolutely. On the go, poop cleaner. Love it. Yeah, see? I don't, well, Shout out I, to Dude Wipes. You can contact <laughs> the other side well, of the beach. So, <laughs> that's the thing, though, because, like, obviously, because I, we're doing don't the dude show. Dude Wipe, defecate in style. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so September 30th. September thirtieth. We're gonna be in there. the evening. It's a Friday. Another uh, another bump fire. I'm guessing. What what? Another fire, bump fire, bonfire, bonfire, not bum fire. <laughs> but close well, we're enough, bums. Right? The That's bonfire. what I was hearing. I was like, please, someone. <laughs> Every time you hear, you make fun of my accent. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of anything I can. Fuck, dude. Um, yes, a bonfire. <laughs> A big bonfire. Yes, it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be what super if, fun. What did we say last week? You, make, you started. I said salty sex, guys. Concrete dicks, axe throwing, axe wounds, axe wounds, and what else did you say? Cornhole and cornhole. <laughs> yeah, I said. Did you hear what you just said? Yeah, there was axe throwing. It was, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, about the same. So, why do you? Uh, so, for this event, are the podcast supposed to bring anything with them? Like to like help the party, or no? I have I have booze. I guys? have lots of booze. We're not bringing fucking potato salad or anything like that <laughs> to turn. <laughs> Do you want? No, I'm just food asking. from other people that I don't know. I, I why know. I'm asking. I don't pot. I don't potluck, guys. I don't potluck. But what does that mean? Are you gonna do it all? Or we're not gonna eat. I I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> she just went. There's tacos to eat, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, what did you say? You said there's tacos to eat. <laughs> you can get a, see if you can get a food truck down there. Maybe. Absolutely. I think it'd be Yo. fun to have like a, a food truck or something. If not, I know lots of people who'd be just so happy to support this. Um, but no, I'm not for the potluck. I appreciate it, but no, thank you. So is this an open invite for anybody or just pod community members? Because I don't want to get it get it skewed where... It's pod... Cast. I don't want to invite my cousins and they're just going to come in. I mean, do they have a just, podcast? No, they do they got, support a podcast? They're coming to eat. They're coming to eat. Tres leches and shit. Oh, that's my favorite. Is it? Oh. When's your birthday? She just said three days oh, before. Three days before. before. Do math. So no, we, we will have tres leches we'll, there. Yeah. 27th. Oh, yeah, we can make it happen. I'll okay. bring it. Okay. I'll bring it. Homemade. Oh, so now he's bringing homemade. shit. I thought we just <laughs> talked about this. Nobody's bringing food. <laughs> no, but she's like, well, this is not going to be Hey, I just made like you homemade boozy pops, home. and you can't make me homemade treats? No, I'm, I, I, I don't make anything. Yo, this guy struggles cook. with TV dinners. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about homemade. What do you think I lost weight since I got divorced? <laughs> I kind of know how to eat. You know, I, I was mentioning that. I was talking to someone else. We were talking about how good looking you are. I'm not good looking, but hey. how, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, look at that divorce Fuck weight. Fuck you, man. You look like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you're looking good. You're Thank looking you. good, I my friend. It. Thank you yeah. So much. Yeah, yeah. 20 pounds you less. not so much. You've gained back that weight you lost. 
Oh, oh bitch. Fuck. <laughs> you were just <laughs> telling us. <laughs> you know what? It is That's not about the way. I, I hate people rumble? who are centered around me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. I'm good. I'm good. That's okay. You're still you're you talking to than me, so I'm still the heavy guy on the, on the podcast. We're good. Who am I talking to? Who are you talking about me with? My spouse. Oh, yeah, we were talking about. Justin you were looking Curtis good. Fuck me, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second. <laughs> this is the second Justin Curtis wants to fuck me. Swallow it. <laughs> no, one has, one hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> one wants to. Dude, you know what? Has. I just thought about this uh, about a couple of days ago. Can you imagine us going to the gay bar with Justin? <clears throat> because I I feel like if we walk in with him, him being a bear. People wouldn't fuck with Oh, him. him. My yeah, Justin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not a bear, dude. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. But see what I'm saying? Like, if I walk in... <laughs> what? This goddamn no, thing. Dude, dude, no dude, dude choke dolphins and shit. <laughs> I was thinking about a joke choke about that. Choke dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> How, is that number three? And I'm, like, oh, not hey, even halfway with me. one. I haven't drank all day. Okay, I can't say that. And we talked about before the podcast the kind of day I've had. All right, all right. I am drinking. Did you hear about it? Utah Sour. Mm. Ooh. Nice. I love Utah. You had these guys at your thing, right? Your 100 episode thing? Did I have them? Is that the same people that made that beer for you? No, no. I had a different brewer. Yeah. I was good But still Ogden. Ogden Breweries. Let me fart again. Utah, uh, that's where we did uh, Brian's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a great place. Uh, the IGY 622. Well, she was there. Yeah, I was. And I was. I won yeah. some cornhole boards. Oh. oh. Then we played at the Salty Sex Cast 100th episode. I won something there, too. I cheated, but I won. You cheated? How did <laughs> yeah, you I was cheat? the only guy that put in for the damn thing. Oh. Now, you cheating, bro. And you put all was your that tickets the whip? in there too. Did you get the... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put, but I put all the tickets. $400 of tickets in that one thing. There's all... Those were $60, bud. <laughs> I'm supporting local, right? Right. <laughs> so do you hear what what I donated? Mm-hmm. I donated an oh, Oculus. The, Oculus, yeah. You, we, yeah. Have one, we have one here. Dude, we watch porn. They're, they're fun as hell. They're super fun. We watch porn with it. Do you have an actual <gasps> Oculus? Oh my got, gosh, yeah, the yo, actual Oculus. I, I, I don't like you've never porn. watched. Yeah, what the Oculus. fuck? I've seen you draw. You probably have all no, those I've games. No, I've watched porn, but not on a on a 3D Dude, I just, you like, never watched I'll be, virtual I'll be honest reality. With you. I'll be honest with you. VR porn? I played it, and it was like the first no, time. No, I'm good with 2D, and it's like two seconds, I'm done. <laughs> oh, like, it's great. I love you. Yeah, same yeah. You. Uh, It was the first time I got In squirted on. It was virtually. <laughs> Did you too? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the it's on the thing too. It yeah, we did a cool. video about yeah, it. You can't, you can't watch porn on the Oculus. They don't have an app for that. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse no, me. You can on a VR headset with a telephone. Don't. Every don't time I walk in, the but the Every Oculus I, brand name that blocks we, it because right. we had we had an oh we had the what's the other one. Uh, there was no phone in this one. This was a legit. Yeah. Um, legit. They're all. VR, dude, but it's like the whole house. Because I had the controllers. Yeah, you were just on the internet, right? Yeah, you just went on the internet and found VR. Where porn. else would you find right. porn? You you for God's sake! Yo, does that yeah. was that was that Wi-Fi into the? Yeah, or was it on the on the actual thing? Yeah, it was Wi-Fi on uh, out here. We did, we got into Pornhub. And oh. I just typed in VR and it opened the world. Oh. Welcome oh, the to world. the world of imagination. Yeah, I'm a, a whole I mean, new world. Angel, Angel don't do Oculus VR stuff unless it's porn because my son's been trying to get He's him all to king. do, to He's do all, the Where's my VR? So I, that's my I, room. I, I walk, in, do it. I walk the, in the house and the don't saber. do it. I, yeah, the, 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 the saber. The oh, saber. Oh, it's my fave. I walk in the house. Brian's doing this. You want Brian and I are digging our Oculus. Yeah. You guys shut and then up. He goes, he goes, you should do this, dude. It's way fun. <laughs> See, like, I'm too busy dancing as I'm trying to get that, it. That, like, he, so he's underplaying what I do because I don't do that. I'm I'm grooving. To it's a good going workout. On. I'll yeah. fucking sweat my ass I off a, doing I did that. The boxing game. Oh and really? I literally had to sit down afterwards. I was like, yeah. holy sh- shit, that was a. We used to do uh, the Drunk Olympics with the um, Nintendo, or no, it's not Nintendo, the Kinect. What was that the one? Wii? Xbox. Xbox Kinect. Yeah. I have <clears throat> p- 
pass the fuck out playing that yeah. game because you're just working so hard, but you're also drunk, so you don't realize how hard you're working oh, yeah. until you're like, yeah. oh, fuck. It's yeah. fun. It's fun. It sounds awesome. Play that shit. Some VR, some drinks, and some good people. You know that you it's can good get night. Like, VR and then like get on treadmills and stuff and... And do all that like at home gym stuff through the VR. I think it's super stuff. cool. Can, can you and I get in like different Oculus and like Eiffel Tower a girl or something? Yeah, I'm sure. Eiffel Eiffel Tower. Tower. Nice. Is that your dream? Rotisserie. You guys can be friends. Well, me and you, and Mariah, we're gonna be friends on Oculus. Beat Saber. Yeah. What we'll, the hell? Why are we being blacklisted? Oh. I don't know. All yeah. of a sudden, we're not cool. <laughs> Hey, just because we want to rotisserie I've been, somebody? I've been, try, I've been trying to get you to play Beat this Saber. This guy wants to cut fruit. I love Beat you Saber. Really want rotisserie some chick. <laughs> He's all, man, I broke a sweat. Boxing ball. Yeah, you ain't seen shit yet. <laughs> Wait till you see me and Angel <laughs> doing a spinner. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. <laughs> doing a spinner. This is what happens when you bring them homemade shots. When I bring them homemade, and I've got this, more. I blame you. It's why we welcome you to the other side of the beat. Yeah. For God's sakes. <laughs> Episode 181. Give us a yay. yay! Is, it, is it the back side of the beehive? Why? Because it's the other side. Oh, no. We don't. Yeah, we're, we we're don't, open. We don't. We're open to all holes. We don't. Have you gotten any, <laughs> any uh, uh, bad uh, reviews? Yeah, because of your content. Especially from here. From I'm Utah? Talking. Um, no. Never. But I also am free to say that now to someone's just going to be a douche and... and uh, for fuck up, dude. I mean, it's not, it's not like they be... No, I haven't had any... Anything. You t- <laughs> remember you texted me one time and said, some fucking asshole gave us two stars. <laughs> yeah, I remember the story on that, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that, uh, that was an inside job. Other than that, <laughs> I didn't think we... Job. Was it that guy from that one podcast? <laughs> no, no, no. This one... Yeah, yo, that guy. I mean, nice. Yes. Got Here you. we are trying to be gentlemen. Fucking, <laughs> I don't know why. Mariah's all farting and fucking shit. How many times have we had Mariah on this show? This would be number three. That's yeah. right. Oh, you were for the uh, she Halloween. Was for the we're Halloween. going steady at this point. Ooh, steady. Just, one more date, and then you know, this mean we get we're, we're passing first base. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's right. <laughs> Date number four, right? It's, it's on. Fourth base? Way, that's Third base? Work, Yo, <clears throat> let me tell you about this. <clears throat> so I go camping, mm-hmm. and <clears throat> we talked about my proud dad moment, right? Why do you just look at him? Why Why am I part of this conversation? I just looked at you. Oh, I just wiped okay. my head. I just hey, started I just the sentence. He doesn't, he doesn't think I'm a douche. <laughs> well, you got to think, uh, 100 know, whatever episodes. Yeah, yeah. It's usually We're just used to this. No, 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 no. I, I got the advantage because yeah, you guys are there. on that side. He <laughs> has to do this. When you talk, you look at me. Yeah, yeah. all right? Look at me. <laughs> so, I like eye contact. <laughs> I mean, looking at you, looking at them. We went, uh, when we went camping, I had some friends that came with us, oh, and they... <laughs> just cancel. Just keep going. <laughs> They had uh, a, a couple that was there had their son. Mm-hmm. It was relative age of my oldest daughter, right? Mm-hmm. I'm old fashioned, right? You could say. All white people, my yeah. daughter is. Hmm. Just, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> It's the whiskey, bro. She's just the whiskey. And the tequila. <laughs> so and he, he me another. It so his stomach's empty. Yeah. Yeah. I, I sit bad. down I sit all down bad. at the fire and I get scolded at. I get a, uh, hey, let me talk to you about something. I says, what? And they're like, you're oh, embarrassing your moment. daughter. Because of the show? No, uh, <laughs> because of the way that you're talking about her. And here. No, not here. Oh, it has nothing to do okay, with okay, this. Okay, okay. The way you're talking, the, 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 the way you're talking about her, and possibly liking boys. Oh, possibly. Because so it's not. And as it's I, as I, no, no. Listen, <clears throat> as I look through the day, you know, we went riding, and you know, we 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 had some fun, and we had a big group of people, and uh, they I, they brought it to my attention that. Your daughter has a crush on this little boy. Now, me. Please tell me it's the older one. My daughter, yes. Of course. (laughs) Can you imagine? (laughs) Me, I'm like, 
Uh, no, no, she's too young for that really, stuff. That not. stuff does not does not exist. How old is she? And I got put in my oh, place. Oh, see, the professor is asking you. How old is she? So she's eleven. Oh yeah, no, she's got a crush. <sighs> what the fuck? I'm this telling you, this she's starts the one at like knows, Fox. Dude. I'm telling six, you. seven, eight <clears throat> for girls. Girls know. No, this this boy so was this women, boy dude. was no horny. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. She was. Oh. Her parents were letting him drive around in the side by side. He's, he does it all the time, and we and were running through the go. river. And my wife says, "Hey, Addy, do you want to ride with this kid? By the way, has the baddest fucking name, Justin? No, oh. <clears throat> close, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to say yeah, it on the podcast. Yeah, sure, we'll talk about sure. it afterwards. <clears throat> um, hey, do Kyle. you want to ride through the river uh, with him? And she gets in, and they're they're going back and forth, and I'm just drinking and laughing and having fun. And I was oblivious. I was oblivious. I was oblivious to this. That's daddy's little that's girl. My, that's my first. That's my little baby, yeah. right? And when they sat me down and told me, like, you've got to watch what you say about your daughter because she has. I says, well, no, that's she's too young. That shit doesn't. And I was put in my place. So. I went to bed that night and it haunted me oh. the entire fucking night that my baby doesn't, she's not into boys yet. That's oblivious. That, that comes when they're like 24, 25, 26. <laughs> that shit doesn't happen yeah, when you're, 40, know, when you're 11 years old, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Right? So the next weekend we go to a party. Hey, Virgin Mary was 13. God damn it. Continue. Jesus Christ. I, mean, I shouldn't say that either, but God damn I shouldn't say that either. Well, she, well, she was Mexican. No, that's all makes sense, right? <laughs> Jesus. You didn't need permission back then. Yeah, right? <laughs> anyway. So we go to a party the next day, and we... She was Mexican. <laughs> and we, we happen to hang out with my daughter's school teacher now she is the coolest lady um i, I love she the a hot fact- teacher no no <laughs> she she's older but she is hey you I know mean, what you, you can still be hot she, and old i just want everyone to know this she's a very know, she's 40, a very, just... very beautiful old lady. <laughs> yeah. very hippie okay cool oh, but nice. she is so down to earth and that's why we love her to death that she taught addy and, and you know and she addy looks up to her and the fact that they hang out after I love school that. yeah um they ask her, well, they talk to her about it. And I look over, I'm like, eh, it's not real, right? It's not real. And she says, Justin, I spent more time with your daughter than you did last year. She is into boys. Yep. And it crushed my soul Aww. to know that that shit is real. And there's <laughs> nothing I can do about it. Because she is. Be daddy's favorite she's, boy. Like just, hey. just the day that they said, hey, by the way. Your daughter's wearing training bras now. I'm like, nah, she doesn't need that shit. That shit don't exist, right? Yo. Uh, I am struggling with this. Damn. So the worst part of being but a girl. But I didn't, I didn't right have a here. sister. I didn't have a sister. Yeah, I didn't have a, 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 a woman figure. I, my mom, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. my, but my, my mom are it's best friends. Same, and my mom's very, very open. We're like, yeah, think, you know, take shots, bump yeah, fists, yeah, yeah. you know. Fucking bros or whatever, yeah, yeah. Not, but I not, have not I, the mom I don't I, know. I don't know I, I don't know because my mom is sick, but I don't know that world, yeah, yeah. and I didn't know that it starts that young. Oh, it starts younger for a girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. starts younger. But what best best episode I have you here for? But like it's 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 not. Sexually driven, no, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. It's a, like a magnetism. Like, better not, better not. I'm gonna whip that kid's ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rip his little dick off. I'm my fucking side by side. <laughs> Buy a chastity belt. We're, we're For coming God's with sakes. you, Justin. Let it us is, know. It, it is the attention of a, a different sex, right? It is getting attention. I'm seen. I am meaningful to somebody else that isn't my family, and it's not a friendship. It is a crush. It is a, so it's more than a friendship. And so, yeah, it totally starts younger. Again, it's not sexually driven. It's more of that attention driven that I can be seen by someone else in a different light that's not a daddy's little girl, that's not a bestie with my girlfriends, that's not, you know, a, a niece or whatever. It is I'm getting attention from somebody else in but, a different way. Let me ask you this. This, this may be a stupid question for you, but <clears throat> obviously we can't relate because we're not women. Now that you're talking about, uh, how the the situation that his daughter may be in? Do you know that because you lived it, or because you study it, or because you have a daughter? 
all three, all of the above, right? It is the. When did you notice? Please? I exist outside of these worlds that I've been very. <laughs> like, I, I know these worlds of, hey, I'm a family member. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm a best friend. But it's like, wait, I'm getting attention from something that's not that. It, it It's outside of that. I like this. This is cool. This is. You know, this feels good. This is different than than it's just, you know, a family member or best friend. And you want me to be honest? <clears throat> yeah. The kid kept coming over and hanging out with us at camp. I'm like, oh, this oh, is a good little kid. Because he got different kind this of attention. This is a good little kid. <clears throat> I like him. He's it's pretty good. You know, What's his name, Reggie? Now I fucking know why he was hanging Reggie. out. Now I know he was it's hanging out. It's not a bad little bastard. thing. So, it is so, so normal the, so and ba- so healthy to explore that, So too. what's the best way to attack People that, who then? shut it down now create power over that and that's what i got told is i was like hey you gotta you gotta stop with the jokes but what what were you saying i was just just um did she suck and stuff i'm just kidding the what? <laughs> that she sucks. <laughs> Whoa! I'm just no, I didn't like, know that. Like, she's, <laughs> just, <laughs> like, she's just lame, but that's not what I mean. In, in all honesty, Justin being Justin. Okay. I'm. You're just roasting your daughter. Like, drinking. Like she's against I'm the drinking. The I'm loud. You know what I mean. <laughs> making I'm fun very, of her, embarrassing I, I her. I make oh, fun more, of her, but more, just more just, embarrassing just as, yeah, yeah. me as, being as a, a father, a, making a trip and shit. But I don't think I. I wasn't saying anything about her. It was just. But I think that shooting the shit helps with friends. Girls create that like tougher skin right so when boys start teasing they're like oh whatever my dad <laughs> roasts me harder than that yeah i can I don't give a my shit. Titties, yeah <laughs> right and then i gotta upscale um but no i i think it's fine i think just obviously being aware of how that affects them have you asked her have you oh, asked your see, daughter so, see you don't want to ask <laughs> <laughs> now hold on let me ask she's me. 11 she can hold her own well hold on so what does mama think about this she was the one that brought it to my attention. Oh. She was like, hey, yo, it's time. It's, it's time. She said it's time. It's time. You, you said not time. She's not time. my daughter. And I'm like, well, <laughs> it's not time. Like, it's not time. Like, hey, here's a rubber. Go hang out in the bushes. Right? It's not like that. But No, but, but like, she's right she's around like, the corner hey, from like her starting her period like she is a young oh, woman shut the fuck up get the fuck <laughs> out of here I'm done with this episode <laughs> yeah change the subject it's hard to get out of here I gotta go but reality you know, is September 30th that's what I was gonna say what are we at I need a shot oh my god shit we're gonna be fun you so Mariah I've I've always struggled with these kind of conversations because I don't yeah. think anybody ever had the conversations about the birds and the bees. Which with, is normal. With, Most with people me, haven't. Because I was a, you know, my dad wasn't around. It was just my mom. You know, how do you tell a guy? But your mom didn't have porno magazines just uh, hanging well, around I, like oh, Bioman? My stepdad did and I found all of them. Uh, <laughs> that's how I yeah, learned. That's, that's not I a healthy way to learn. Shout out to the okay. penthouse. Yes. <laughs> so, and, and I'm not saying this is the right way, but I heard Guys that have conversations with their female, with with their daughters, talk about you know handful of sugar and every time you give somebody the sugar away, you get less. I just don't oh. know. You know, you have less sugar to give to. That's you know, a so worthiness that. so conversation, and I about? say fuck that because okay. I think that is so unhealthy for girls to say, "Hey, oh. you are so worthy. You have this much to give," and if you start giving away pieces of that. You have nothing left. Fuck oh, I wouldn't that. agree with that. I wouldn't. That is that. so unhealthy. So but how, how I would say, I would say, help Justin out. Exactly. Know who you are and what you want, and and just ask her and just say, hey, I know I was kind of being silly the day when we were camping. Did that embarrass you? Well, I asked her. We yeah. sat down and I asked her. I says, <clears throat> um, I because when I it got brought to my attention, I felt bad. Of course, I was still in denial, but I asked her, "Did I embarrass you?" And she's so all, "I went to have a beer." She's with all, her. "No, no." You know, she. And, but she's I can tell when grown. she was. She was like, she was embarrassed that we were having the one-on-one conversation. Oh, right? so and you haven't even I, established that. And then I that. went for the jugular. I'm like, "Do you think that boy's cute?" <gasps> I don't know. Both of I don't fucking know. You got you got two people just gasped at that. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then just be like, "Hey, what's wrong with that skin, though?" No. Because then you put them on the spot and now they have to react and they have to choose between telling you the truth oh, or telling you what you want to hear. <laughs> that is Damn so it. hard. 
as a little girl to choose what do you actually want and what do your parents want? Because she is in between the two worlds right now. She is learning that she has needs, yeah. but you also have needs for her. <clears throat> How is she going to say yeah, that? Yeah, I need her to feed the dog and do the dishes <laughs> and fucking clean her room and stuff like that. Right. What are we talking about? Her and needs boy. She's eleven, right. for God's sake. No, I mean, everybody is their a, own person from I day know, one. It's I hard. Know. It's so know, hard. Let's keep trust cross, me. Let's keep crushing, My Justin. oldest son just turned thirteen, and it was really hard. He wrote me the sweetest note. Sweetest note. It was so funny. He was just like, thank you for being the cool mom, mama. I'm not, but I'm the like honest mom. I'm going to call shit out. What's the difference though? And then he's all, <laughs> I think he meant to say, have a good day, but he wrote, have a day. So now well, it's like our inside joke all the time. I'm like, have a day, son. <laughs> <laughs> but he's taller than me. I'm like, glad you're here. Because yeah. if, if she hadn't been here, imagine this conversation. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll fucking get going we that kid's this. It's hard, yeah, we would it's hard this. when your kids get to this point. It is so hard because it's not, they're not 100% in your world anymore. They're straddling their adult world. They're, they're, I shouldn't say adult, but they're independent world, right? Maybe next time we'll call They're her. starting to see it. They start to like... You know, my parents aren't 100% correct all the time. Who's right? Who's wrong? Do you They're th- still navigating that world. It's very, very confusing. Hormonal driven, <clears throat> right? Like, it's Ugh. scary for them. Well, that's good. How do you, how do you, how does, when, when it comes that time for Justin? Which time? The, There's a the, lot of times the, and it needs that, to be frequent and often that, that conversations. Time when he has to have the talk with his daughter it think, is not one not, single talk cool. yeah okay so how, it do, is, how do you start those conversations it is it's just like hey did i embarrass you i noticed that this boy was hanging around you know you well, guys can be about the the birds and the bees no no talk. no this is how you start it okay you the, hey i noticed this boy was around and was it fun hanging out with him cool would you want to hang out with him more why is that okay what's going uh, on in your mind yeah, I thought he was a cool kid. He was respectful. And then you start bringing up the good qualities. If you start only talking about the bad qualities in somebody that you want your you kids to, to avoid. Psychologically, dude. They are the going to they're going to go against you and say, you know what? Daddy said, don't hang out with boys that do this, this, and this. Starting to look pretty cool <laughs> to hang out with boys why? that I do should, this, I this, should, and this. I should go hang out with boys that do right? this. Right? And just be and like, this. you know what? I really appreciate that he was so respectful and he came and hung out. That was cool that you guys could ride together and I could see you guys and I liked that. Then she's going to want to give you more of that. She's going to want to hang out with you and her boys together. Then you have an eye on what's going on, right? Mm. We had a bomb drop over here that I can push or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be like... <laughs> bomb drop. Oh, over I get drunk and I get serious <laughs> no, apparently. It's, it's, uh, but it's perfect I, that you hear though. It's I, perfect I, that you I, save I, that story. Because I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm... Who I'm does? going off. Who the, the fuck does? I, I'm just riffing off this, right? Um, I know what the books say, but, but the books so, are still learning. So let me too, ask you right? this: if, as we're going down this avenue, and he says, "When do we have the talk about the birds and the bees?" Yeah. Do I have this talk with her, or does mom start both the conversation? Both of you, and you both have it often, S- separate or together? Both, all, and. Because the trust is built, oh. the rapport is there, and then if anything scary or unknown comes up, she's already built that avenue. That door is already open, right? So when you're like, hey, I loved that you guys hung out and you were in the the side-by-side together. We were all having fun. That was really cool. And then she's like, hey, you know what? And then five years from now, let's hope it's that long, right? But it's and the, I'm all, this I'm all, day and age. Yeah, you know, we don't do anal, right? <laughs> that how you, that's how you open that up, right? But when you're just like, hey, you know, I noticed you were getting close to that boy. What's going on there? Do you do you guys want to hang out with all the adults not around? Oh, and are you shitting me? No. <laughs> you got to say that? You got to oh. ask and you got to let them say and oh, answer and not report, judge Justin. the answer. Oh, hey. And just say, okay, I hope when the time comes when you want to hang out with that boy alone. That you know that this is what happens, that this isn't what happens. I don't talk to my kids more about like P and V and like condoms and all that. I talk to them more about coercion. About What's that word? Coercion? Do you know what that word means? Uh, yeah, it's like your Ukrainian Google. stuff, kind of. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys. Spell it? It's like, you know, dog, it's like doggy <laughs> style, <but> backwards, right? <laughs> right? So you guys talking about. <laughs> <laughs> 
this lady right here is like, these guys are a bunch so of fucking what, morons. What the fuck kind of podcast have I gone into? <laughs> and where is our ride at? Blame her. <laughs> <She> <laughs> the ride she ride at. <laughs> so what does that mean? So coercion is when someone like talks you into something, right? Oh, if so you it's like, like me, consent. You'll, you'll do it. It's not the other. It's the yeah. other side of consent. I would have said coaxing. Exactly. Okay. It's the same thing, okay. right? Okay, gotcha. It's What's like, this? hey, hey. Coaxing. Hey, like, come sit next to me. Why not? It's not that big of a deal. Just, just, come, just come sit next to me. Hey, if you really, It'll be if fine. You really like me, no one will care. Talk to him about that. Between, you talk yeah. about that before anything else. Because that is the tricky shit that's hard to navigate. If they know what no coercion feels like and looks like, and they know what to say no to and how to take a no, take a no is really important too. Um, then the hard stuff is easy. Yo, we're going to do some Roxanne shit, where right? yeah, yeah, I'll hide you in the bushes in the open window, <laughs> and like, you can tell this. me what to fucking say. Say this. Right? Right? No, hey, hey, I, I'm Sarah serious. Is it's it's <laughs> or frequent. Bring, Sarah, no. or, bring your, so, or bring your daughter to my right. All right, you guys talk. <laughs> right? Like, well, that was my, my son. My 13-year-old had his, his friend over, and he's friends with all the girls. His besties are all girls. I was like, oh, shit. And, and so she hung, hung out all day because her mom was working. I was working. My husband was working. So I, but I work from home. So I'm there. The do rule is doors are always open. He's barely 13, right? That's not a hard rule to follow. The door was open this much. Oh, like, and I was like, oh my gosh. And so I can see as I, his, his room is right next to my office. I'm walking down to my office and she's laying on his chest. They're in bed together. She's laying out. I was like, at 13. Hey, at 13, I'm saying you think it doesn't happen. It happens. It happens. I am the walking living proof. Yo, it when happens. When did you do things with that? Like with girls? When did you do that kind of shit? Uh, I think I was 37. I was the coercer. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh, I was the one that's like, it's not a big deal. It's I okay. I want to say, I, I mean, I was kind of, I was a late bloomer. I, I lost my virginity at 16. <gasps> at 16 that's what i'm saying like it was yeah, no. it was late for me when did you when did you no when did you no, uh, don't say when no did it happen for you when 15. did you start noticing boys oh when i started noticing boys i would say five years old i have just been an aggressor Jesus. a chaser well, we're I, talking about noticing I, girls see i was holding girls hand when i was in kindergarten that's boys and girls was another thing for me too and that went unnoticed uh, see, you got the double whammy i, huh? I am bisexual and and no one cared sleepovers whatever no one asks questions Whoa. no one tells you about it and it was like oh shit i was the aggressor and i no one told me what that looked like i was not prepared mm. i thought i was just having fun yo guys got it so hard no no I mean, right no, pun now I do. No, no. <laughs> no pun intended no i'm just saying like i'm a, a i'm an 80s kid right i Same. it at that time when the 90s started to come around, it wasn't like I could lay on some guy's chest or whatever. You sleep <laughs> over, y'all. Hey, bro, you want to come over and sleep over, watch Ninja Turtles, and <laughs> then we can hold hands that and shit like that, right? Way different. When I think about girls, girls, we talk about the legendary sleepover. The slumber fight, parties. The slumber party, right? Oh, yeah. And it's not a lie. Yeah, but what happened to your son then when he was... So I just said, hey, you know what? It's uh, I love that you guys are good friends. You guys are close. But I just want you all to know that I can see what's going on. And I just want you to make sure that like you're comfortable and she's comfortable. <laughs> Dude. No, no, no. <laughs> this isn't here. permission. Fuck, mom. <laughs> and so I came into the room and, and she's she's been through some, some things. There's some trauma in that family. So I was really <clears throat> careful to probe. But I said... You do know that I'm a sex educator, right? Holy shit. And she's how old? She's the same age as my son. Okay. And she was like, no. And then my son is like, no, mom, no, no. And his voice is all cracking. <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, so you know what? I've told my son, if, if he doesn't tell me what's happening with his friends, because if I'll pick him up from a friend's house and he's like silent, he's just a really quiet kid, not who I am. So it's really hard for me to connect with him. And I was like, if you don't tell me things, I'll tell you things. And he's like, what does that mean? And I was like, so do you know what a clitoris is? And he's oh, like, oh my God, oh my we God. hung out and we just played video games, mom. That's all we did. But if he doesn't give me information, I give him information. I was like, if you're not going to open up, that's fine. I'm going to tell you. But so now he knows and it's just this joke. But I was telling his friend that was there. I was like, so if you guys, if I see you guys doing this, you get a sex ed lecture. 
It's pretty fun. Damn. Either way, I'm winning. And you guys are horrified. That's like the only. That's, I mean, that's a punishment. It's be an advantage and a reward. For, like it's got to be an advantage for for <laughs> all parties involved. No, but I'm saying like for like if I was if I was Mariah's kid, it's got to be I, obviously probably he needs to grow and just say like, oh, it was an advantage that I have my mom and be a sex educator. Oh, it's going to be actually, 20 years from now. He'll be like, I appreciate <clears throat> that, but, but right now he's like, oh my no, god, he, no, please I get stop. It. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's oh so yeah. Embarrassing mom. Oh yeah. Oh, so cute. My middle son was like, can I have parties in high school? Okay, he's 11, by the way, and he's on the spectrum. So it's just really cute to hear his brain. He's like, can I have a party in high school? And I was like, yeah, you can have parties as long as there's no alcohol. You can have friends over. That's fine. And he's like, well, I'm probably going to tell all my friends that you're the neighbor so they don't hit on you. <laughs> this is my 11-year-old talking about this. I was like, what do you mean that they don't hit on me? He's like, because if they know you're the mom... I've heard there's something called a MILF. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not he's saying, smart. He's not joking. He is so matter of fact. And he is like, like, I mean, like I said, he's on the spectrum. So it is like, there is no, there's no beating sarcasm. Around the bush, right? There yeah. is like, no, it is this. And it's this. He's like, I'm just going to tell him this so I can avoid that. And he's just funny. But yeah. So and then my nine year old, so I was raised so fucking different. different yeah. Right? It was like closed doors. Don't yeah. don't like, say it. I don't talk, talk it. about that. It, it doesn't exist if we don't talk about it. I've said it here before. Like the way I kind of got into it, was, it was because we were uh, we still a, we're still a part of a very Christian family. Like my yeah, grandma's yeah. a pastor, so I think when my mom married Your my grandma? dad, she was as a pastor. My oh, grandma, oh. yeah. I love that. Yeah. So, um, so I think my, when my mom married my dad, they were, it was in church, and I remember, long time after she got divorced, I was, uh, I I spent a lot of time alone alone in the house, and and in her closet she had, like books, but it was it was about sexuality, and it was and and that was like, obviously it's for you to learn. Right, yeah. there was, it was no, there it's was nudity, but it was the same. It, there was not, nudity, uh, perverted, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Although I didn't take it as that. Obviously, I was taking <laughs> you know my what? own oil with it. But you also, don't know. I, but that's what I'm saying. Like You're I didn't know. So yeah. for me, it was like, oh shit, there's like boobs. Did you say and then checking your own? I was oil? taking my own oil. But but also, I was like, I was like, oh, but this is like, it was like the first time that I saw somebody in a magazine that was naked, and there was and there was a a, a couple, they were in bed. <laughs> That was rock hard. Just super vanilla, <laughs> like nothing no, but, crazy. Exactly, that's okay, what I'm saying. Imagine. But, that, but that's how, <laughs> and, that, and that's how, that's how I started my my curiosity of like, oh, what's good? How old were you? Uh like twenty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I was probably like, I was probably like twelve, thirteen. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. It's right around puberty. The first time I your is, homo hey, first, hormones tell us more than your age. The first time right? I jack off, I freaked out. Like Most boys don't know what's happening. Yeah, I thought I broke it. I swear. It. I right? I broke it. That's I was what like, how do I clean that? Like, that my husband. <laughs> I was like, how do I clean that from the roof? Just my like, husband was talking about, he's like, all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have Swiffers back then. I'm a, Sorry, Mariah. We're right here. I didn't have I didn't have that. I had very different things. I put it under the couch. Your bed juice in your vest. Asshole. <laughs> I remember hearing stories about girls who didn't even know what a period was, but then were starting their periods and were horrified that they were yeah. like dying, right? They Ooh, thought something was wow. very seriously wrong. That is not okay. Yeah. Same with boys. If you have an ejaculation and you don't know what's coming, what's happening? Can, no yeah, pun I intended. Remember, I remember. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Right? Freak out, like, I remember, oh, I remember it thinking. It feels right, good, feels but it's scary. Yeah. Yo, do you remember wet dreams? Till this day, I feel like. Do you remember wet dreams? Yeah. Right. My Last Saturday. When my son was like, <laughs> "Hey, mom, I got my own laundry." I was like. You do. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know. But I knew things were happening. It sounds like he has a pile of rocks. He's got in the laundry basket. It's just soft. Why is this sheet so stiff? <laughs> yeah, like I, I remember, like I was just like you, like you say, like it was like I remember I was going down on myself, and I'm like, oh, like this. <laughs> 
hey, we swallow here. We don't spit. Come on. Yeah, good thing. Hey, let's mark that thing as his microphone. <laughs> but you said going. I know, I know, down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was a flexible kid. I'm just gonna <laughs> say. We can be used to all do that at eleven, right? <laughs> no, I'm but, so I, I, but I. But I. But I remember. I remember thinking, oh, this feels. <laughs> Jesus like, Christ. I saw, I saw I was masturbating. I'm like, oh, this feels good. And then I go, yo, what is that? But then I'm like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Because it feels so good, right? Yeah. I remember, so, um, funny story, and this is on the on the um, Instagram page, but it's the homemade pocket pussy. You guys want to hear the story behind that? Of course. That? It's called a Fifi? No, no, the homemade pocket pussy. Sounds like it fits for the other side of the beehive. <laughs> that I had a friend take a picture and sure. send it to me and say, oh my gosh, guess what I just found in my 14-year-old son's room. <laughs> oh, oh, no. shit. And I was like, you know what? I remember being 14. I straight up made my own homemade dildo. And I still remember that. And it's just like, it's it, you You explore. You explore. Was bar what was it made out of? So <laughs> Tell me it was a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bar of soap. <laughs> Tell me it was a cucumber this long. <laughs> so this is like this little like, a, like a zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> bath salt set. But they look like test tubes from like like science tests, <laughs> oh, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they have like Weird this little science. case, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. and so they have these little test little tubes, tubes with salts, with in them? bath salts. But if you pour it out, and then it had a screw cap, and I was like, you know, if you put warm water in there, oh, you went to the extreme. That would be Damn, bad. Dude. Yeah, You're just fucking Elon straight Musk up left it in my bed. My mom was like, "What is this?" I'm all, <laughs> "You're uh, the Bill Gates of fucking." <laughs> <laughs> homemade dildos. Hey, warm the, water the, does a the, lot. The, now, let me ask the you. Dill gates. How old were you when you did this? 14. 14. Uh, Eighth same. grade. Eighth grade, uh. you guys. It's it's not far off. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's you being in denial isn't helping anyone. Well, I'm not in denial. No, no. I'm absolutely not in denial, but I don't, I didn't expect it. Yeah, it does. It hits you. It hits you. I feel like I'm prepared more than... I would say 99% of adults with kids, right? But is that like every girl goes through this? But it still hits me or, and I'm like, oh, I wasn't ready for my kids to say this or do that or ask that. Like, you think you have time. You don't. But it's, it's every it's every girl goes through the same thing that you went through. Like, I said, I said finding, finding this stuff and like making all this. No, I think there's people are more secure or more curious or... Their parents are more open and talk come, that's about say, it. Does that come from the the, the way you were raised? Oh or? hell no! I was m- raised in a Mormon household. They Me didn't too. talk about it. The worst thing that my house did is my mom read those trashy smut novels. Ooh, Daniel oh, Steele. Oh yeah, covers. oh yeah, the yeah. long hair, yeah. chest out, yeah. you know. And so my sister would think it. Oh, her oh, and oh, I would play this game, and we, if my mom left her one of her novels out, we would just flip to a page and read it out loud. I still remember reading this one like sentence that would like, and then he put his member on her like milky white oh, breast, get the and fuck I was out like, of here, my I'm member. out, I'm out. Like I was, I was young, I was member. young. His member. member. What is this? And my mom, I was telling my mom about that like maybe a week ago, member? and I was like, yeah, member? my sister Allegra and I used to do that all the time, and I shouldn't. Uh, I don't know. I said my sister's name. It's a rare name. You can probably it's Google. An awesome name. Yeah. <laughs> and so. Uh, <laughs> So I was like, yeah, we used to read those all the time, Mom. I take those when I have a headache. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for the joke. I was trying to get the joke. It's an awesome name. Those drugs are great. <laughs> so, mm, the headache what's medicine. Her, what's her last name, Claritin? <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway. Yeah, and so, and, and my mom's like, oh, they just got worse from then. My mom, like, reads nasty, nasty stuff. And so I was like... And you raised this like that. She's then left the church, though, which is great. Like, that was like a... A win, but your parents are they together? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay, <laughs> you you pretty, what fucked me much. up with this whole deal? I think it would be a bigger headache to divorce than it would just be bicker at each other forever. Oh, okay, is yeah. is is this kid? Like I said, he was. <laughs> Justin is he was hanging out. I, I, it, I'm, I'm talking about this was a turning point of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I didn't. Expect it's hard this. to hear. And those it things. was. It, I shit you not when I laid in bed. Uh, I I stayed awake and just thought no 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 it's not it's there's it's just not it's not real she's just, it's my baby she's over there I can hear her snoring this is my <laughs> baby that's just not real there's no way what fucked me up the most was that and you'll appreciate this 
he kept coming over to camp and hanging out with us. And I was, uh, yeah, he had a remote control truck and he was driving it around. And he's all, you into shoes? To you? Yeah, to me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I just, I just barely daddies? started. I just, I just barely as much started as they getting date into their shoes. Daughters. He's like, yo, I just got a pair of the uh, Bart Simpson. Oh. Uh, oh, the he dunks, did? dunks. This the kid, dunks? yes, the fuck, the, yeah. The, how so, are your daughter? So he's going through all of his shoes and showing me what he has, and I was like, I like this little kid. Yeah, yeah. Little do I know, there's he's fucking you up. There's fucking. He's not yeah, doing it on purpose. No, I know he wasn't. But I know he wasn't. It does make a connection. I remember. I remember all my boyfriends d- jiving with my dad. They would talk about skateboarding, all sort like X game, like. All the stuff. Your dad talks skateboarding. about skateboarding. Is your dad Tony Hawk? <laughs> Nobody skated with him for a long time, oh, wow. and so like, wow. like that's how I grew up. Who's I didn't your dad? grow up Steve with. Caballero? <laughs> I didn't grow up with sports. <laughs> Does he own a show? Who's your dad, Rob <laughs> <laughs> No, I grew up longboarding. I grew up street lugeing. I grew up like doing all these like like extreme sports, and so then I'm like, I don't know the rules to basketball. Yeah, bring that along. I don't know these that's things, and so I'm asking my husband all the time. I'm like. Why did they do that when we're watching or whatever? But turn on the X Games. I know what's going on. Well, I know what's up. I think to close this, I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Do not be surprised if I'm like, hey, Mariah. <laughs> it's hard. It's ready to have I'm, that text. Hey, do not be surprised if she doesn't answer, but go ahead. Yeah, but, but it was. I'm a uh, shitty texter. It, yeah, it was a turning point for me. Uh, I have, and I have another one that's coming right behind her because all I have is girls. And, and you, you know what's funny? To me, she's. She's like, not worse is not. So I have the one that's older. She is very girly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the littler one who is just like. The very Mariah. Yo, Give no fucks. Yeah, 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 no fucks. A redhead, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No fucks given. She's like, yo, let's take it. Let me hit your smoke, dad. Yeah. One of those. <laughs> nah, she's, she's trouble. She's like, she is trouble. <laughs> let, let us know if he is. She's, she's the one her, that's going to give boys grief heart. or girls grief or anyone and grief. They're, they're very, and they're my She'll daughters, be the aggressor. they're very pretty girls. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling You're a little trouble. bit with this. It but doesn't matter the this looks. Was, it was great that she was here for this. Yeah. It, it's it, still hard when your kids go through that, right? You, they're your babies forever. When they marry their wedding day, you're still going to be like, what? Yo, My I, baby? I, she was sitting there. I'm like, look at all that hair on your legs. Because she's 11. She doesn't shave her legs. I'm like, you gotta, look at all that. You got hair like your dad. <gasps> she was you like, did embarrass her. Yeah. I know what I did. Oh. But I don't think about it. I don't think about it until now. Until it got brought to my attention. Like, you got to watch what you say to your daughter now. Because, I mean, we break each other's balls. Well, figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> Does but, she dish it back to you? Uh, no, she's very girly and she's very... Now the little one was like, fuck you, yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the little like, one, like, you're your good. Your balls are hanging out of your shorts, dad, so... <laughs> the little one, you're good. Like, she's gonna hold her she own. She will. She'll be yeah, the older yeah. one. Hey, you little got gray it. here, there, yeah. right? <laughs> so, but, uh... Yeah. Okay, we'll lay that one to rest. It's hard. That's funny. You got, like, homework to do. That's yeah, I do. I do, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it but, is but frequent my- conversations. You let them probe a little, but you also push a little bit. You're not going to be like, hey, let me sit you down to have the talk. If you have just one talk and say, oh, I've checked my box. I'm good. My ah, kids are no. That. That is the worst kind of sex education. Mm. Almost just as bad as not saying anything at all. I will tell you because one talk is more traumatizing than just little nudges and frequent conversations and making it a regular part of your relationship. Because that is a regular part of their life. I hate being a parent. Cheers. Is it is it is it different to to again? Might be a stupid question because I don't have kids. No, no. Is it different to 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 have that mentality when it comes to a boy or a girl, or is it it's basically the same? I I. I see it as the same, but also I've started with the same, right? I have two boys and then my youngest is a girl and she is more curious and more in your face. By the way, spit an image of yourself. Oh, she is me condensed, yeah. like, and then some. It is scary as hell. I'm like, oh my God, world look out yeah. when you've got Mariah Minnie on the loose. Like y'all are going to be hurting, but she's funny as hell and she's she's nine. And she was like... You know, I think I'm done buying white pants. I was like, why? And she's all, well, I just don't want those when I have my period because it sounds like a big hassle. 
I was like, okay. She knows what she wants. She goes for it. She's not scared to ask questions. And that's that's the best kind of kid. That's, I mean, my, that's my fear. With my wife. Right? I would have cried if my daughter had said that to it, me. It, it's like, whoo, okay, I wasn't ready. But there are nine-year-olds out there who do have their period. No fucking way. No, yeah, absolutely. See, I, I knew that, yeah. Absolutely. And especially with the hormones that are in milk and everything else, they're having them younger and younger. So you think you're 11 year old? She is right around the corner. Well, she eats pop tarts. She don't eat cereal in the <laughs> mornings. We're fine. <laughs> you are not fine. Have those conversations. You're not okay, Justin. Have them often. Hey, and if that guy breaks her heart, let me know. I know some 16 year olds are going to go kick his ass. <laughs> and it's Justin. not. That poor yeah. boy is also navigating the world, too. And he's he just a, finding he out was what. A, he was a sweet. Exactly. Kid. And you know what? You tell him that. You say, you know what? I really respect that you came and talked to me, that you showed me your shoes, that you did this. Because if you make them fearful of adults, and especially of dads of the girls they like, then they're gonna they're, they're gonna, gonna be go shitty and shady yeah. and not okay. See, Those that, are the ones that should be, that's, that's be, gonna be of. this guy. That's, that's yeah. when I fucked up because when, <laughs> when when my oldest when my oldest stepdaughter had a boyfriend and she ended up with the hickey, I saw the kid at home and I was like, hey, next time I want to force you to give me a hickey on my dick. You said that to him. <laughs> How old was he? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Teenagers, probably 17s, 18s, I think. Wow. Even my ex-wife was like, what the fuck did you say? I'm like, yeah, no. And me? then they're just going to go into the darker corner and be more secretive. And then you hear less and you're able to support them less. It's not giving them permission. It's opening the door to conversation. It's such a hard thing to know and to be okay with. It sucks. It does. Let me tell you, <laughs> I'm not okay with my kids talking about it. It's so hard, weird to have them like, I'm all, these are adult conversations and you're so little, but they, if they are probing, I allow them to. I don't like that she says probing. If they are asking the questions, <laughs> I you. let them drive. <laughs> she was talking about your daughter. She was like, check in my box. I'm like, ah, don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You are the problem. <laughs> Ah, Checking oh, my box, shit. eating some tacos. Wow, that was a, that's a great conversation right there, Mariah. <laughs> Uncle Angel. And that's what you get on Not the Salty Sex Cast. A little bit of sass, but a little bit of education. <laughs> we, go, we go an hour and 18, and, and we, talked an hour? About, wow. we talked about one thing for a yeah, we went down. Time. We, we went down at a, I almost hey, so said what is a deep it? pole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we didn't. I didn't say that. Do you guys want to go on a lighter note? Should we go a yes, little lighter? Yes, yeah, Change the subject. Let's, yeah, let's yeah, bring yeah, it all yeah, back. Bring something out. Oh, I, I get to just pull it from uh, anything? Yeah, you're the guest. Pull it, yeah, I guess. It's your, it's your platform. I just feel like I should just start bouncing titties because I don't know what else to do. Sure, they appreciate it. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll get more views. I don't know on YouTube. Uh, check okay, out YouTube so what is something on your list that you would love to do? Uh, as in, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna draw the lines for you. You you color yeah, in that box. Just like, what are we talking about? Yeah, we talking about anything. What is something you want? Things are we? You know what? About? I would love to go the sexual realm, but why should I force oh, you? Because I don't want to coerce you into that. Sexual round. There's many things I want to do in the sexual round. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I, I would really like to do more of this. That's, that's always been my thing. And if I can make a little bit of money out of it, it'll be perfect. Podcasting? Either podcasting or vlogging or whatever. It's just like something has to do with content. <clears throat> Love it. Cool. Yeah. You? I want to be. I don't. It, I, I take that back. <clears throat> I don't want to be dependent on anybody but myself. Which means, I mean, um, from a financial aspect to everything that comes with that, I don't want to be. I love what I do. I love where I work. I love the avenue I've gone to. I love. I love what I've done. <clears throat> I don't want to be reliant on anybody but my choices and my decisions to be able to support me and my family moving forward. That's awesome. You? 
I just want to be nude all the time. Like, is that hard to ask? No, I'm just kidding. She, she always <laughs> takes it all. We were trying to be, put thought yeah. into this. I, I almost know. shed a tear yeah, here. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, and, <laughs> and she's all, I just want to. <laughs> no, I, I really, I think. Charlotte, just want to fuck salt. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to fuck, fuck Dude, salt vials. <laughs> Some people are smoking salts. So I'm all about the fucking them, you know. <laughs> um. I like the the dream really like if 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 no wasn't an answer if fear wasn't there it would be having my own talk show I think it'd be super awesome oh, hell to yeah. really just bring out the true truth in people not the gimmicky not the you know, how come you never been radi- approached to do that like having these conversations on TV and having like the I'm rap- having this conversation right now no I know but this is not kidding. TV though that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying like to having like a, like the, sh- the, the local shows that we're here like having a segment I have a segment on the radio I'm just kidding I'm saying like <laughs> having a segment on TV because yours is educational right yeah and it's like literally the right way to do things <laughs> like what you just we ran it out yeah, yeah. for yeah, yeah. 45 minutes I, I mean, don't know if it's the right way but I want to I I that is such a piece of passion for me. Like it's so, I'm so passionate about just giving people what, you know, th- there's a missing piece for everyone, right? Yeah. Having education, having affirmation and in, in their human experience. I think it'd be really, really cool. Yeah. And have a lot of fun and some dumb jokes and be sassy and all the fun things with that too. But I don't think we have it needs to be entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think we, I mean, I don't, obviously I don't pay attention to, local tv as much but i don't think we have that to where there's an actual i feel it's so fake and so watered down and so like there's there's not saturated like sexual educator which is going to basically teach you like you have done here how to deal with the problems that you i I think a lot of the problem is is we're the utah Utah red tape we're in utah absolutely also sponsors that is one reason my podcast we say no to all sponsors other than patreon because if I get a pon- sponsor like of like a condom or like lube, then I have to promote them, right? Even if they're not as healthy for you. And so it is all about money. And I'm not about money. Condoms I'm about on mo- I'm about the message. Condoms not good for you? No, I'm saying condoms are great, but I don't want to say this one condom is the one and true well, only can, condom can that you, you should like use. Hey Pablo, I drink it and they pay me for it, you know? <laughs> I mean, can't you be like like things you use, go get Sponsorships and things. Absolutely. Yeah, those are just condoms. <laughs> right. Dental dams, promote, maybe. Like, you know, Dental dams. You use. Dental dams. I'm all, ah. <laughs> I'm all, ah. Do we need to educate you <laughs> some more? I know what a dental dam is. I don't know. Do you? Have you used to, Have you ever been with someone who yeah, said, hey, I've been let's in use the dentist a, and they put a dental dam on me. Have you ever you been talking? with someone sexually and they said, you know what? Let's use a dental dam. What is that? It's like I, a. I've never even all seen right, one in my whole all life. right. It's funny how they both laugh. It's a. <laughs> Obviously, they know what the fuck you guys yeah, are talking like, about. It is. <clears throat> it's the open the and the. The female condom, right? It is. It's a, it's yeah. a form of a female what's the, condom. What's the word? The it's a. Diaphragm. Diaphragm. There you go. Diaphragm is another form, but a dental dam is like a rectangle piece of. You know, just like the same thing that like condoms are made out of and everything. What's that on your hand? What do you mean? What's on my hand? Hey. Sh- <laughs> and you just you just put it over, and it protects you just as much as a condom would. I mean, if not more. I mean, there's a Smith bag here yeah, for God's sake. Isn't that the same thing? That's not right? flexible. That won't stick to someone wet. I just got you there. I guess I have. It's a- not flavored. I oh, guess colorful. I have a, a different idea of a dental dam because I only know the, the one. Dark. They, Let's have when fun. I have a, when I have a root canal, Safety they put the fun. dental dam yeah, in there. I have a totally different idea. Right? Yeah, yeah, fuck, that fucking would be like a rubber band just go poof. Yeah. yeah. I'm totally yeah. lost on that then. Yeah. No, there's there's lots of forms of protection that isn't just condoms. Yo, the, one of the first times that, that I had sex, I broke the condom and I was inside. And luckily, I decided. Did you need a different size? No, hold on. What? <laughs> Did I what? Did you need to go up in size? It, I was well, giving no. you a compliment. Well, no, I, 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 I don't think about well, it. What it was is that she really wasn't in that. It, that <laughs> into it, so it was just kind of wrong. He just put it on wrong. He didn't know. No, I was like, because you know, because I remember. <laughs> yeah, the dog wouldn't hold still. <laughs> 
Because I remember, I, I remember, I was, I was. Why I was, did you I know, laugh the hardest at that? I that was, was terrible. I was fucking, you know. And yeah. then I felt like it got tighter. And I even asked her. I said, "Did you do something?" She goes, "No." I was like, "Okay." Like, like she was juggling or doing backflips or something. Are you kegling? Did you right do now? something? Did you do your kegels? Did you just do your taxes? God. But oh, but but it so happens that when I finish, I finish. Like I didn't finish inside of her, and then obviously when I pulled out, I'm like, "Oh, the condom broke." Can you imagine? I would have had a Mexican kid out there now. The first time having sex is scary. It's scary. It's you don't know horrifying. how to. Yeah, my, my that first is time why was if you horrible. have boys, horrible. if you have boys, just leave condoms everywhere. Talk about hey, jerking off in a condom is normal. They mm. know how to use them. They're comfortable with them, and asking for more is a t- normal conversation. I would rather have that than a little baby that I'm taking care of with my 16-year-old child. Yeah. I I know. It's a hard conversation. So I don't need (laughs) Yo, uh, when I was younger, I used to go down in my dad's room. Yeah. Oh. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Easy cleanup. You ready? You ready? I go down there. My mom... And my mom, you, my mom listens to this podcast. Yes, She's going to go, yes. oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> she says, <clears throat> she wrote me a note. This says, why are you taking these condoms? And uh, if we have to have that conversation. And filling them up with milk. Let me know. Yeah. And so I told her, this is what I told her face to face. I'm all, oh, we've been filling that shit with water balloons. And we've been throwing them <laughs> in each other. Mom. Little she know I've been beating them off and throwing them in the fucking toilet. Hey. She knew what I was doing. <clears throat> of course. Yeah, yeah. But Mom's she didn't make me feel no. she didn't make me feel embarrassed when about I moved it. Good. When I moved to into Brian's house, he's like, hey, here, dude. The guy a fucking thing of condoms like this. I was like, here, dude. I'm like, I'm fixed. I don't need those. You know, just I think kidding. I'm gonna I'm just start get every housewarming is like a bucket there's, full there's of condoms. Other reasons to wear condoms than just not to get people pregnant. Right? Yeah, to fucking Isn't that there's... what you get at bar mitzvahs? You they give you rubbers and <laughs> yeah, shit so like that. Go, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told my and I was I was telling my husband that I was like, let's just give the boys some just to play around with, goof around with. But they balloon just, animals out of them. And stuff. But they're comfortable <laughs> with like, asking have for you him. Seen the mask when he goes. <laughs> He's gonna lick it up a little good. <laughs> yes. Um, but again, it is it's just the comfort level. It's not the snicker thing. He 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 it's a condom. It's more of like, oh, it's a condom. Whatever. It's a daily thing. It is a it's a normal thing and it's not I mean, kids can't even say sex. Sex is like a four letter four letter word, right? Because like poo. I can't say <laughs> That's a dick no move. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, hey I bowel know, movements are normal for everyone. Poop. That's four yeah, letters. Poop, yeah, yeah, she's, she's a pro on that. <laughs> everybody poops and everybody has sex. Okay. That's true. Okay. I don't, but. <laughs> That's yeah, your fault. Don't laugh at me like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she just went <laughs> <laughs> he the kitchen, he jerks off a lot. That's what it no. is. He doesn't poop or have sex. So yeah, those condoms know. are just. I'm hoping that I don't have sex for so long I become a virgin again. Yeah. And then I wait until I've I get, heard that. And then I wait until I get married again. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. Not another scary movie. Just get her to the ceiling, right? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> see, see, and I, I was just talking about cleaning the ceiling when I first time I came. So, anyway. So, September 30th, <laughs> change the conversation. Segway. We're going to be there. We'll be there. You'll be You're there? Be, I'll be there. It's a party. Actually, we got to figure something. No, change it because Fridays we record. You know what? Yeah, you're going to have to do it a different day. We record on Fridays. Yeah. Fuck your hey, Fridays. We started a community. We'll destroy it if we have to. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome <laughs> for finally getting this no, started. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing it. Though. It's, um, it's pretty cool. No, absolutely. I, I, but it's obviously we're not trying to tune our own horn here. But how many? How long have we had this idea of we should get all of us together? We should and, way, and, way, way, way back. And if, and when we did Sue's the first time, I mean, you were there. I was like, I remember, like, it was, it was so douchey for us to even say, but, like, I, like J- Justin and I were talking behind everybody's back, and I'm like, can you believe that? Like, we're a part of this, and how cool is this? And how, But, obviously... You have the network. 
I'll have the, I don't give a fuck, let's get shit done. Yeah. Dolphin's got the know-how. Like, he yeah. was the one that was all over, let's get the website, let's get this going, let's, I mean, X, Y, Z. He was great with all of that. I was like, sure. I'm happy to just get it completed. Yeah. Right? I love the idea. So many people back you. And your ideas, and we're excited to be there. Now it's just finally to fruition. Let's yeah. go. Well, buckle up, Buttercup. Uh, I know we talk about this. Who's your uh, woman crush? Pull her up. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, Gal Gadot is still right. such a. Right. Uh, uh, just every time she talks, I don't know who that is. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> The dark oh, hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know what? Sometimes I see her stunning. Sometimes I just go, ah, that's my neighbor. She's a little West skinny. Valley. She's a little skinny. But, you know, she's hot. You like him thicky, huh? Curvy. Oh. Well, thick thighs save you lives. Said, what'd you say? Curvy. Oh, I thought you said scurvy. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> it's it's wines in there. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. See, sometimes she looks delicious. Sometimes she doesn't you know what and that's all women right there that's sometimes they true. look fantastic and uh, sometimes like, we look like excuse me chloe kardashian uh, ew, chloe, you eel don't you, you eel don't you ever what fucking you oh, started plastic Fuck off, Justin. <laughs> i mean you mean the linebacker <laughs> she, well, she can tackle me anytime any she more, wants. Uh, does she play center for the Lakers? Now? Brian, you need to suck a dick, bro. <laughs> How dare you? No, Disres she's a power forward. Me like she's a power that. forward. Fuck yourself. Bro. I don't know what you're, you're talking about. You're supposed to be on my goddamn side. Least. Trying to, to mix my up my drink side. right now, okay? Just hey, don't mind your own like business. That, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to like... Hey, what's that in your hand? It's on my hand? Is it Why do you keep saying that? I guess I'm lost on this joke. Oh, her tattoo. My hand tattoo. I think we got a a wipey. Oh, you want a cup? You want a cup? We have cups. No, I'm a big girl. I can suck from a tube. That's good. Yeah, we we well, heard. Yeah, we know. You we also sit on him it. too. <laughs> <laughs> and spin. <laughs> no bad salt in it, all right, right? Yeah, tell people where they can find you. SaltySexCast.com. We're on your favorite podcast listening platforms. Yo, Instagram. What, kind of, what category do you do you? Put that on. Sexuality. Huh. There's a category for that. Really? Nice. Yeah, number we'll 20. There too, number yeah. 20 on number 20. Sexuality. No, but like when you upload, do you have a, a, a thing? Like we go on their entertainment because we don't sexuality. claim to be a comedy podcast. Anyway. Yeah. Ooh, sexuality. <laughs> no. Um, usually it's no. under like uh, fitness and fitness. like health, health and wellness. Fitness. And, like, usually it's, like, health and wellness, fitness, sexuality, all of that. Like, so we're right around that. <clears throat> Yo, if anybody that listens to this podcast does not listen to the sal Salty Sex Cast, yeah, you're missing you are out. absolutely missing you out. You obviously don't know what to do with your kids. Yeah, right? So, uh, <laughs> please. Usually I'm sober when I record those, too, so I'm actually <laughs> intellectual. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, go follow. Yeah. Go check it out. Amazing content. What about your personal? Do you do you do you talk about that like a business too, or not really? I just I, don't, I for some reason I don't see you talking about your personal stuff, which happens to be a business too, right? Your personal profile. Tell me more. What? Like your your personal when you put your photos and your wellness and all that stuff that you do, you don't talk about it as much as the podcast. Is there a reason? On my personal, like, Facebook yeah, and things? Uh, personal Instagram. I don't have a personal Instagram. That's I have my <clears throat> Balance Your Wellness, which yeah. is my coaching business, um, or my Salty Sex Cast. Yes. Is there a reason why? I'll shut the fuck up then. <clears throat> no, no, you're good. That's no, why no, I was I'll like, I'll tell me more. I'm up. confused. Brian, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me, uh, DJ Bad Boy Brian, social media, all platforms, uh, and then uh, Chakra Lounge every Friday, Saturday night. Uh, that's 364 South State Street. Oh, he's got an address now. So did yeah. you hear what he, what he did? You see what with, I did? With the thing you, can you find it, like right at the end? Is uh, there a way to find it? Good. You know how you said, put it right here? Yeah. And then you did this with it? Yeah. Did you see what he did? I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anything else you want your followers to know? 
Swallow, don't spit. Oh, Lord. Uh, bless your heart. <laughs> and yeah, and, and, that's and guys, guys make sure you check that she swallowed it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Angel, what you don't got going on? Trap. Uh, you can catch me. Oh, fuck you can catch me because I'm 13. <laughs> I told you was doing it again. I started masturbating. <laughs> you can We've catch me on Angel, Angel Severa on Facebook, Angel Severa on Instagram, and also me and uh, actually Dre and myself. We're starting to do uh, dress Spaniel again. We're killing it. He's got a lot of views on those reels. It's he great. Makes it's great. It's pretty, I'm like, hey, I'm learning some Spanish too. We're having so much fun. It's not even. It's uh, not even that's funny. Spanglish. Yeah. Thank you very much. But yeah. he's not learning. But hey, we're, we're entertaining people. It's entertaining just, as hell. <laughs> yeah. hey, but we they got flashcards. Hey, yeah, we got flashcards all on the floor, and uh, and also now he's made it so people can win by just so so he's commenting. learning Spanish and you're learning how to read. It's beautiful. Good times. How dare you? <laughs> She's my favorite. She's my favorite. Yeah, because she bust my balls every time she's here. Uh, Yeah, anyway, you? Uh, Lord underscore long balls with a Z (laughs) to get me on the gram. I was like, who the fuck is this? I know this person. Why am I following this person? Oh my God, it's Justin. (laughs) (laughs) It was a whole story. I was so confused. If you follow the podcast, you know. Apparently she doesn't, but anyway. No, no, uh, I know. uh, Basically, uh, Ancestry.com basically says I'm allowed to be a lord. I'm that English. And we know they're getting old. Long balls. 57% Scottish. So I have some Scottish in me. I don't know his name, but... Ah, <laughs> hit the rim shot. <laughs> it's up. Uh, yeah, there you go. Lube it up first. Uh, I think it's that go one. to the YouTube. <laughs> give us All a right, follow. Drop the thing off the thing over here. So. Hit the subscribe. Do the stuff. Do the stuff. The do the stuff. Push the buttons. We couldn't do it without EB. Hey, Thank you, you brother. Producer of the year. Uh, for, for the podcast. All right, pod relax, dude. Yeah, this yeah. Is yeah. Hey, first of all, so humble. Hey, I love you guys. Producer, Producer of, of the, the year, year, guys, vote for me. Yeah. I'll let your boy. Bad boy, Brian. You are go. you done? Anything else you want to know? You want guys are beautiful. Know? Thank you. Thank you. You're beautiful. You're, Thank you so much for coming well. over. You're beautiful, too. I don't know your name, but you're beautiful. Thank you. I wish you would have joined Dan, but it's okay. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, take care of yourselves out there, and we will see you on the other side of the beehive. Give me a peace. No, come on. Jesus. Oh, I did. I did peace. So oh, my God. You never listened to this. Peace. Thank you. No, no, I did. <laughs>